Example four, your new car loan has payments of $4.99 at the end of each month for five years to pay, a 20, pay for a $25,000 car. What rate of interest is being charged? What is the effective rate? What is the cost of financing? So let's look through this one as well. We borrowed $25,000 and every month we're going to pay back $4.99. Etc. And that's going to go on for 60 months or five years. Every month, the amount of money we owe on that car is shrinking. That makes this one also an amortization. We are always making our payments at the end of each month, and it says that right in the problem. So it is an ordinary annuity. Finally, simple general. Well, that's a little more tricky because this question is asking two things. So let's do this with just a monthly rate. And then we're gonna do this again and see what happens if we treat this as a general annuity. So let's start with PY and CY both being 12 because we're making those monthly payments, 60 of them. We're trying to find the interest rate we started by owing $25,000 and we're making payments of $4.99. Those are negative because our balance is shrinking. At the end, we owe nothing on the car and we're paying at the end of the month. So we go into here, it's clear, and our PYCY should still be 12. Our N is going to be 60. Our interest rate is what we're trying to find. We're borrowing $25,000 and making payments of negative $4.99. And at the end of the day, we'll own no money. When I compute the interest rate, I get 7.33. Now there's a few things we can do. I could take this interest rate and store it and then use that interest conversion worksheet that we talked about in the last section. So the nominal, let's put recall one, enter. Now I go down, I'm going to find my effective rate, but I need my CY to be 12. I'm gonna compute that and I find out that I have 7.5875%. But I can treat this separately. I'm gonna do this as a general annuity because we're going to start doing this in our next lesson. I'm still gonna pay 12 times a year, but now I'm gonna compound one time a year. N is 60, everything else stays the same. So what I'm doing is just changing one thing in the calculator. So let's clear out of this one. Go to second, PY. PY is 12, but now I'm gonna go down and change CY to be one. So when I scroll here, you can see 12, 1. Those are different. Clear out of that worksheet, compute the interest rate, and now I get 7.5875%. Exactly what I got through the interest conversion worksheet. So general annuities seem complicated. However, in the end, we can do them fairly easily given that we have a good financial calculator. Finally, let's do the cost of financing. Cost of financing is fancy for interest. So cost of financing or cost of borrowing is a fancy way of saying interest. When we borrow, we say our interest is gonna be the money paid minus money borrowed. So in this case, how much did I pay? Well, we paid $499 60 times and borrowed $25,000. We can throw that into a calculator, which I did off camera, and I ended up with $4,940. That's the cost of financing. One more note on this, cars. The sticker price on this car is actually a bigger money, a bigger number. Let's say this car is 
9.40 with 0% financing. Where did I get that number? Well, that number was 4.99 times 60. If a car dealership advertises 0% financing, usually this is what they mean. The car is actually 29,000 or you get $4,940 cash discount. That's for paying cash right away. The real moral here is you're not getting something for nothing. So that 0% interest really means that the cost is actually $25,000.